So in this episode I'm going to start to tackle the wiring. So here's my plan. Ignore the rest of this drawing for a minute. So first of all, we've got a battery under the um, uh, centre console. So this is where the steering is. So we've got a battery there, and that's at the moment that's linked directly to the motor. So the motor is always on. Now there is a kill switch in that centre console, but that's not actually in between the motor and the battery at the moment it's just a kill switch for the domestic uh, for the rest of the wiring for the nav lights etc and then we've got a battery inside which is under the seat inside with its own kill switch and that is only connected to the other battery uh, so I, I believe it was only used as sort of a, a backup so they could just turn the kill switch on and, and it would it would give that some power um, if if it had gone flat or whatever. Um, so the plan is to separate that a bit so that this battery is the, is the cranking battery and it will run the motor uh, and it will go through the kill switch to the motor there. Um, but the kill switch will also have the option of having been able to hook up to the second battery um, in case for some reason that one doesn't start. Now this is going to be a leisure sort of a, well, it's a leisure battery. I've got um, it's you can crank off them, but you shouldn't too often. Um, so it would be a sort of an emergency um, feed, so you can change it to to use the second second battery or both um, to feed that one if you if you re, if if that's flat and, and you need to start it. Um, so then I'm going to remove the domestic wiring from this side and actually place it here so that all the nav light and, and the cabin lights and everything will run off this larger um, uh, sort of leisure battery here um, and then that way it's sort of it's sort of separate so if you're staying on it overnight and you do for whatever reason run that down you can still start the engine in the morning and obviously the engine charges stuff as well so that's the idea so that's going to be domestic side that's going to be engine and you've got the option to link the two if you need to um, so a couple of other things i'm going to do probably not right now maybe depends what time i get so first thing i'm going to do is put a charging relay in and what they do is when it picks up a voltage over a certain amount it will actually start charging the other the other battery um, so the engine will be linked up to this and obviously charges that when it's on uh, I'm also going to put a solar panel in um, which will charge this battery probably I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll plug it into that one rather than that one um, will charge that battery so assuming it gets over the right voltage that should also feed into there um, but we'll see how we go with that uh, and then yeah I'm going to put a build switch in um, this side I was going to just wire it straight up to the battery but uh, sorry the build pump uh, I was just going to wire it straight up to the battery but I think what I'm going to do is actually next to the control panel on the wall is put a control panel for the bilge pump as well so the wiring will actually go up to that control panel and then from that it'll have two wires one that turns it on when you want it or one that sort of turns it on on the float switch that'll be on it um, but we'll I'll, again I'll come to that a bit later on so that's the plan so time to get started so I've taken the battery and battery box um, out of this compartment the wood was a little bit rotten underneath it well not rotten but it, it didn't look very good um, had some mould growing on it and it had no top for the battery box either so I'm going to redesign that um, so it has a top so it keeps it covered and the moisture out of it a bit um, 
I have taken off the old uh, battery terminals and I'm replacing them with new ones. Um, I was going to change the end terminals here, but I think I can get away with actually refurbing these. And then there's some new new ones there. Um, so the big plan is replace the kill switch here with a new one because that looks pretty old and disgusting. We have a, a leisure battery um, in here that goes in here. I'm going to rewire the um, main domestic electrics, the internal electrics, onto this um, battery here. Uh, these cables here go up there into the uh, centre console there and there's actually a battery located in there as well um, so I'm going to keep that battery there but that is going to become just the engine battery at the moment that's the main battery everything's wired up to it the engine's wired up to it permanently um, which it shouldn't be really so I'm going to attach that to the kill switch that's on the other side of this and I'm going to replace the kill switch for a new one um, and then I'm going to make it so the kill switch turns the engine uh, power on or off um, that kill switch will have a um, a two-way one so that it can connect up to this battery in here if we need it to if for some reason we run out of power but the domestic supply is going to be moved from over there into here so domestic is run from here engine is run from in there we can link the two if we want uh, and then I'm going to get a charging automatic charging relay and put in so that when that's charging from either the solar panel which is going to go into this here or the engine charging it when either of those starts to charge it it will then feed power through and charge this battery when it stops charging it cuts cuts the circuit off is the idea but that will be a bit little bit later um, first I've got to sort out this the moving of the supplies so I've got to open this up and see where we are and see if I can get a wire some wires down there and disconnect it from in there so I've just pulled the back off this um, doesn't look too bad I've seen a lot worse so we'll reuse it so the yellow thick yellow ones the ground and I believe I've seen one in there it's yellow and there's a ready colour looking one just down here going on the positive rail which which I'm assuming will go over there as well. Um, um, so I've removed this I thought this was the feed here when I look behind it there's a thick one here this is actually the mains feed this somebody's put that on there and it, um, it goes to this switch to do the mass nav light and there's no fuse that I can see anywhere in between so I need to sort that out ASAP before that's used so that's got to come off there and I'll at the very least have a fuse put in in between it realistically I'm now thinking shall I replace this panel with a slightly larger one I've got the space there I think to get a a six one one looks like this but it's got six of these on um, so I need to think about that so I'm just gonna thread some 30 amp cable uh, from the top here try and get it down through this there's a little hatch under there I might be able to pull it through round pull it through here and round the back of this and, and get it fed down to here so I've got a connection from the battery that's going to be there up to here I'm then going to probably tie these off like um, get rid of it just just cover them up or make them safe and then tuck them away the the old ones the old connections that go to the other battery uh, and then these will be the primary feed via the big leisure battery to the main the other main systems here this is going to be a longer job than I thought. I've been poking around in here for about half an hour now, at least, to try to get this this up there, or through that way, or up there. I've taken that off, but 
it's just got a load of foam flotation foam in there which doesn't make it easy although there are cables that run there into here so there must be a passage I've stuck off my thing in there and tried to get it down that hole but it's not so easy so but I will plod on so I think I failed miserably with this I think putting it in this way is just pulled it all put a, a pile of it just somewhere down there so I'm gonna withdraw all that and go with plan X or Z got a piece of tube here quite solid I've put in the end uh, one of these sort of snap glow sticks so when it's in there I should be able to see roughly where it is in the dark maybe um, and we'll see if we can get it around there and then I can feed the wire through that maybe we'll see how it goes so that sounds like it's hitting the flotation foam now let's have a look under here and see if I can see it uh, camera lights no. No. can't see the glowy stick either keep going so after a bit of poking that did that did go through I basically poked this through there and it came out around here now I managed to put this wire through it and then pull this through so we've got it here now we just need to get it down to there so I'm going to try and there's a bit of a void behind this so I'm going to try and sort of tuck it down behind that and get down there let's see how we go okay so I've managed to squeeze it through there so hopefully the last step now is just to try and get it behind this bottom bottom panel and drop down to there let's try oh dear there's only a very tiny hole in the corner it's not far the glass well, you can see that up there that's not five glass the rest of this is sealed so I've got to try and get it through that gap somehow so I gave up trying to get it down the sides there it's way too tight I'm sure it probably is possible but I just can't get my hands in or or anything so I'm trying different tactic I'm running it around the back of this and the back of this down where it's wider here but I've taken one of these access ports out I pulled it pulled it through here and then once there was enough through I then tucked it back down here down there and it's come out down the bottom there so now I'm going to try and do either one of two things so I'm either going to try and tuck that up and see if I can by pulling this sort of over back over that way whether it will sort of make its way back over there or failing that this will just get tucked up here and it will just have to have a a bit of a bizarre longer route by coming down there through there down here and then back that way but we'll see what we can do yeah so as i thought it's had to stay behind there and come under here i managed to get it a little bit further over sort of probably to about here but it's actually this thing's sort of fiberglassed against the side of this um, so that's as far as I could get it um, there and it sort of sealed the rest of that but that's okay I shall tie that up out of the way get that up out of the way and it comes through there and it's not that long really it's just unfortunately twice as long as I'd, I'd it could have been but that'll do that'll be fine Okay, so I've put those through, I've tied them together a bit, and I've put an inline fuse holder on the end and some uh, uh, ring connectors. Uh, I've also taken these dirty um, white shelves out from under here, and I shall probably cut a new one to go along. I've actually just cut a new, I've just checked this, I've cut a new uh, piece to go for the battery. If I'd have thought about it I could have just done a one long piece to go in there which I might still do. Um, but we'll see how we go. So a bit more to do.